We carry on with the intent of doing just that. We try heading inside. We have a Pokemon healing machine and a PC. And Mirror B may have appeared, because that's totally more important than what's at hand. Always got to have Mirror B in mind, of course. It's a gigantic wall of glass, and it appears impossible to go any further. Yes, you can send out your aggro and have him double-edge his way through that glass. No, that can't even happen. And uh, Aggron's freaking made of rock and steel. I don't even see that hurting Aggron in the slightest. I mean, it's even got Rock Edward's ability. So we can't go forward at all. Only Walken was here. He would think of that brilliant idea of using our Aggron to go through that wall. But we do have this lift down here. Elevator door won't open on that either. So, nowhere to go. I guess we'll just have to give up and go home. <laughs> it's me again, kid. You know, it makes me kind of happy to see you since I've seen you so often. I know you're trying to be cool and all, man, but you've kind of only seen me one time before this. But the way you keep battling me, my cred's taking a beating. Ah, uh, yeah! So Master Grievel gave me this one last chance to redeem myself, but this is it! If I lose this one, there's no tomorrow. Here it goes. You mean he's gonna kill you for losing a Pokemon battle? Jeez, I'd find a new follow guy to follow. There he goes with his Donkey Kong pose. He is a little bit like Funky Kong as well with those goggles. He starts off with Slow King, level 42, Water Psychic type, own temple for its ability, Psychic, Earthquake, Water Pulse, and Protect. And not only that, also Ursa Ring, level 43, normal type, Guts for its ability. Brick Break, Protect, Slash, and Earthquake. Once again, his strategy is just Protect and Earthquake. Nothing that more. Nobody used Protect this turn. Not bad. Fight should finish him off. Slow King is done. Out of there. 1-6 of your team is gone, Gorgon. What now? You haven't taken out 1-6 of my team. What do you got? I'm getting really into this. I just want to taunt him more. All right, what are you sending out? Aggron. Hey, you got good taste, buddy. Level 43, Steel Rock type. Rockhead for its ability. Same as ours. Protect, Iron Tail, Earthquake, and Brick Break. Not really all that different from the rest of his strategy. That Iron Tail is definitely formidable. That's really it. Of course, Agron, or of course, Agron, of course, Ursa Ring takes out Gadzooks as soon as I start taunting him, so I've lost six of my team now, too. This is a close battle starting off. All right, uh, I don't want to go about this. I think Mustache would probably be the smarter move because I can just use a water type move on that Agron. All right. Gorgon, I know that you look like a giant ape, but no facial hair that you could ever grow, or body hair for the matter, ew could ever compare to the facial hair of Mustache. I love it so much. Alright, let's do this. Nobody used to protect once again. Thunderbolt! Hit it with the Thunderbolt! <laughs> I can't get enough of that. I don't know, as of late I've had a, a liking to Lieutenant Surge. He's always been one of the favorite gym leaders and I can always see why. Okay. Walrein! Wow, he just has a lot of Pokemon that I like training. Level 44, Ice Water type. Thick fat for its ability. Has an Octo weakness to ice and an is resistant to fire. Not bad. Earthquake, double edge, protect, and waterfall. I I don't have to say anything. Same strategy on all of his Pokemon, really, just with two moves for flavor. That double edge could definitely be a pain in the ass, but that's really about it. Polyrath, level 42, water fighting type, water absorb or damp for its ability, as it is a shadow Pokemon. Shadow Rush, Shadow Sky, Shadow Storm. Getting into Polyrath as a Pokemon. I think I'm gonna do use the rain dance. I'm just feeling kind of lucky with it, and I don't think anything else on his team would really benefit from it all that much. And oh, come on! Kind of just giving me that KO, really. You know, it's funny because I was thinking of using like water pulse or ice beam on that wall rain just for good measure, but of course I don't, and now I'm paying for it. Critical hit, really? Was that necessary? Oh, well, he takes himself out with Recoil, so that's fine. I didn't lose a Pokemon in the process. Really should have used that on Voltaire, because that would have totally KO'd it, but oh well. Too late now, Gorgon. That's it. You're down to your last two Pokemon. What are you sending out last? Well, maybe we'll see after I start stop leveling up. Mr. Mime, level 42, Psychic type, soundproof for its ability. No sound-based moves will work. It's a Shadow Pokemon. It has Shadow Storm and Shadow Shed for its two moves. As for those that played the original Red and Blue. God, I always feel so good about that. Now, I do have to say about Mr. Mime, I like how whenever it gets hit by damage, it blushes a little bit. It's like it's embarrassed that it took damage. It's like, uh, I didn't do my job as a Mime right. I didn't 
you know, make the glass box that I'm trapped inside of, you know, good enough. Uh. Going with Trifecta, hoping that it doesn't get unlucky. Oh, well, Frozen! Wow, I was about to tangent this thing, though, but man, that's really good. Okay. Uh, Frozen Solace still bam. That's really, really nice. Anyway, as I'm sure many of you know, there are female Mr. Mimes. And they aren't gender-specific now. Grah, we're doomed! Mr. Mime flees somewhere. He will end up in a Pokeball held by the wondrous Mirror B someday. Ah, oh, what a lucky Mr. Mime. I wish I could be held by Mirror B and his Pokeballs. That sounds really gross, actually. Bleh! That was the very last chance Master Greville gave me! How can I keep losing to some kid over and over? Uh, actually, I've only beaten you twice. It wasn't that many times. If there was a tree, I'd climb it to get away from all this. He is a giant ape, after all. And he was kind enough to activate that lift for us after I was about to give just after I was about to give up and go home. So thanks to Gorgon, we can finally go onward. Better heal up right here. At long last, after a whole one battle of being able to do nothing, Gorgon hands our path forward to us. And of course, it's going to lower us into the lava, and it's going to be certain death. Now, again, that's what. That's what Grievel would do if he didn't want to challenge. You know, you can't just defeat your opponents like that. It has to be by your own hand. You qu won't quit being a pest, will you? I find it funny that a peon, a peon named Colax, no less, which sounds kind of funny. It sounds like a, uh, like a type of, like, Ridlet or something like that. Like a medication that you used to, like, relax. Like, Colax. It sounds like medication. I'm sorry. A anyway, I like how this guy is a line of defense beyond even Gorigan. So it's like they knew he was going to screw up, so they put peons here that they somehow thought were more capable, just to kind of act as another line of defense. Uh, Psychic on Amphrost just because I want to eliminate the threat there. I know that Dawn fan's probably going to get his Earthquake, though, but I wouldn't trust myself to one-hit it anyway. I think it's going to get it off the attack regardless. So I think Voltaire is just going to... Wow, paralyzed. Ouch. I think Voltaire is just going to have one really rotten turn. Between getting paralyzed and having a Dawn fan on the field that I didn't attack, I think it's going to... Come on! How often are you going to do that? Really? And why are you using Growl? I'm only using special attacks. Uh, uh, rollout? Okay. Uh, I was worried about having Earthquake, like most Dawn fans do, but I'll take it. That is... That was freaking stupid. Uh, psychic on Dawn fan. Okay. I hope that that bite is able to connect regardless of Jolteon being paralyzed. And wow, uh, Psychic actually didn't do as much as I thought it was going to. I know that I'm not really the... I am having horrendous luck in this battle, and I'm not using Light Screen myself because he's got a physical attack on the field, and then Amphorous is almost done, so that's why I don't see it worth my time. <sighs> he's gonna get off more rollouts, isn't he? He's just gonna totally roll out that whole side of my field. Ugh. I hate rollouts so much. Anyone who grew up playing against Whitney's Mill Tank knows the true wrath of rollout. It just multiplies, and you can't do much about it. Okay. And then I remember that every kid wanted to get a Pokemon knowing Rollout themselves so that they could use it. And then they're like, hey, why isn't this as good? It only does like five damage. And then when we got older, we learned that it did more damage as it stacked. Okay. Dodrio! Do Dodrio? <laughs> Dugtrio is a shadow Pokemon! I can't even talk now. Now, Dugtrio is a Pokemon I always have a soft spot for. I have memories of being a kid, going into Diglett's cave, finding a wild Dugtrio, grabbing it, and just beating Lieutenant Surge's butt into the ground with it. It was a fun time. I don't think any any kid who didn't do that, anybody who didn't do that as a kid, you should go do that whenever you play through the original Pokemon again. It's a fun time. I remember back when I used to uh, speedrun, I used to do that tactic as well. But, you know, the trio was kind of fun to use in single player, just because you catch it at like level 30, like before even the third gym in the original game. And I don't know. I always had a soft spot for it for that reason. And oh, that was close. I was hoping it would get a freeze there. I was hoping it would not burn, so I got lucky there. All right, Dawn Fan, go away. Thank you. We got Doug Trio all on its own now, and you know what that means? Shadow Pokemon that are all on their own. Get I actually almost coughed after that. That was kind of funny. All right. Uh, Doug Trio is going to be immune to. Well, it's not going to be immune to any of its attacks really because it's going to be using Shadow moves. But Timer Ball. I hope that I get a catch. Use light screen in case the attacks happen to be special. Here we go. And actually, I think all shadow moves are physical, so I think I just wasted that. <laughs> okay. 
One, two, three, done. All right. So Doug Trio is ours now. You are finished. What have you to say for yourself losing just like Gorgon did? God, this isn't happening. It's not real. Theater major, are you? <laughs> he just like backflips and then like shields his face, just shouting to himself that it's not real. Oh well. What is that machine doing? Is it like mixing the lava? It looks like a giant cake mixer or something like that. I don't know, maybe Greville takes up baking in his spare time. I get it. The lava below is the heat source. It's a giant oven, and then he's got the cake maker, like, like the thing that makes the cake batter above it. So it's like he can mix the cake, and then he can lower it in the lava, and then he can just cook it, and he can make giant cakes. That is how he feeds the Cypher peons, despite having hundreds of them. That's how we got so many people to sign in a Cypher, despite it, you know, having fallen all those years ago. I get it. He has free, unlimited cake to offer every one of them, so that they will never go hungry again, and they will always be satisfied. That is a brilliant move, Greville. If I was the lead of an evil team, that's totally what I would do to get people on board. Except I think I would use pie instead of cake, personally. But that's just me. The cake plan is still respectful in its own right. Anyway. We got to this mysterious corridor below where Greville is. 